Hey team, welcome back to this channel and if we're meeting for the first time then my name's Stuart and I'm glad you could join us in today's video. Now in this Rike project management tutorial for beginners, I'm excited to guide you through how to use Rike for free to manage projects and team productivity within your small business. Now, Rike is a powerful online project management tool that is very easy to use and completely free for small teams of up to five users. Also, Rike stands out from the competition because they do not try and do everything like many of the free project management tools available online, which can impact the overall effectiveness and user experience of these tools. Rike has one specialization and that is team project management productivity. Alright guys, now just quickly before we dive into Rike, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that out of the way, let's jump over to my computer and let's get started with Rike Project Management. <music> Okay guys, so first things first, what we're going to do is sign up with a free Rike account. This is a fresh account that we're going to get started with today. Now if you want to skip the initial sign up process, you can do so by clicking down in the chapters below. So what we're going to do is enter our business email down here and get started with a free account. And jump over here and click start free trial. Now here what we need to do is head over to our email inbox, the email that we chose to sign up with Rike and find the activation email. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. And here we are in our inbox, so we're going to go ahead and confirm this email so we can get started with Rike. And here all we need to do is fill out our personal information. So we're going to go ahead and quickly do this now. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and added my personal information and selected the best options for me. Then once you've taken the time to do that, come down and click next. And then here you can go ahead and compare each of these paid plans if you like. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're going to do is get started with a free trial, but then we're going to focus on all the features that are included in the free plan because the free plan is sufficient enough for beginners getting started with project management and that's what we want to focus on with today's tutorial. However, if you do want to jump into a paid plan, then you can give one of these plans a trial if you like and if it works for you, you can upgrade after 14 days to the paid plan and if it doesn't work for you, you can always move into the free plan plan. There's no obligations. So like I mentioned, we're just going to dive into the free plan. So I'm going to go ahead and just select this professional plan and click start free trial. And then here, Rike will give you the option to add your team members. However, we're going to skip this for now because we want to show you how to do this from your Rike dashboard. Now, remember with the free plan, which we're going to focus on today, you can have up to five users. So if you want to stick to the free plan, do not invite more than five users or you will have to upgrade to a paid plan. So we're going to come down here and click skip for now. And then just come down here and click continue with default settings. Here you can go ahead and watch this getting started tutorial if you like. If you have the time, I recommend watching this. However, we're going to cover all the basics in this tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and click start working. Okay guys, so here we are on our fresh Rike dashboard. Now what we want to do is navigate through the dashboard, understand all the important elements and features within Rike so you can make the most of Rike's project management software. So with that said, let's dive into the dashboard. Okay, so the easiest way to understand Rike as a project management tool is that Rike is broken down into three areas. We have spaces, which can be your teams or departments. For example, up here you can see that we have three default spaces, personal, projects and phases, or projects with phases, and then teams. So think about your spaces as your team or departments in your business. Then we have folders. So under spaces, you have folders. For example, if we click on our personal space here, you can see that under personal, we have projects and folders. If I came over here and click the plus, here is where I can add a folder. Now within folders, we have projects and tasks. So remember, we've got three areas, spaces, folders, and projects. 
within folders we have projects and projects are basically specific projects in your business that you want to complete and then you have a list of tasks within those projects so remember we've got spaces folders and projects and then within those projects we have tasks so it's very straightforward and simple to understand how Reich works so here we are on our personal space now if we navigate back to home our home dashboard and navigate over to projects with phases you can see that this is another space you can see that if we navigate over to add project or folder we can do so here again if I exit out of that one and head back to our home dashboard and then navigate over to our team spaces you can see that it's the same structure throughout now I can come over here and actually create a new project or folder for my projects here or I can navigate over to the far right hand side and click create and here I can create a new space if I like so remember I've got three spaces at the moment I can create a project or folder and then I can create a task for a particular project. So what we're going to do is actually create a space, a folder and projects and tasks from scratch. So what we're going to do is navigate back to home and firstly cover the rest of our dashboard before we dive into creating spaces, folders, projects and tasks. So on the left hand side you can see that we have our inbox. Now we can also click on this inbox icon up here and what that's going to do is bring up all our activities. So this is essentially our activity feed. You can see recent projects, you can see anything that's important to you. If someone in your team has mentioned you in a comment, in a task, a project, then you can see pretty much everything in your inbox. This is your activity feed. Then if we head back to our home, and then up here, as we mentioned earlier, we have our three spaces. Now, if we want to create a new space, all we need to do is click this plus icon up here to create a new space, or we can navigate up to this green plus and come down and click create space or project or folder or task within a project. Then down here we have recent activity again. So for example, we've just opened these two default projects that shows under recent. Then we have pinned. So anything of importance, we can add a folder, project, or anything we like under pinned for easy access. Then on the right hand side, we have other menu items. We've got my to do. So this is my my to do list. We have created by me. So if I click created by me, it comes up with tasks that are created by me. And this is under our personal space. Then if we head back to home, we have starred tasks. Then down here we have dashboards. So if I click on dashboards, this is where we have our project workflows. So as you can see under dashboard, we have my team selected. And remember my team is a space. So if I click on my team, we also have the personal space. Then we have projects with phases. Now these are default spaces that have already been created with your project workflows. Basically this is similar to Trello and Asana. And then what I'll do is head back to my team. So this space here and this project workflow. With each task, what you can do is you can drag those tasks to the different stages of the workflow. So if this task was complete, I could drag that over to complete. Now to edit each of your tasks, all you need to do is simply click on that task. And then all these options appear. You can assign this task to a specific individual. You can set a date, add subtasks, attach files. You can add dependency. You can share it with specific groups. And then you can come down here and start typing your new task or creating your new task down here. Then you've got a formatting bar above for you to structure your task the way that you like. And then you can leave comments down here. You can tag people in your team that need to perform this task or if there's an important element within this task that you need to essentially tag a team member to notify, you can do that here. And again, you can upload files. Like I said, mention someone or tag someone. You can add emojis and you can format your text. So if we exit out of that one and head back to our home, we have customizable reports. However, this is limited on the free version of Rike. Then we have stream. So this is your essentially your activity stream. You'll be able to see any activity that is relevant to you under your activity stream. Then if we head back home again, we have shared with me and then we have your bin. So now that we've covered your dashboard and you understand 
how Reich is structured, what we want to do is actually create our first space, folder, project, and tasks. Okay, so we have two options to create our spaces. We can come up here and click this plus icon or the green plus icon up here. So I'm going to click this icon and come down and click space. Okay, so firstly, we want to name our space. So we're going to come down here and name our space marketing. So remember, your space represents your team. It could be a specific group or a department within your business. However, if you're a small business and you're using the free plan, remember you can have up to five users in the free plan, then you might want to name your space just your business name. So for example, our business name is Cindio Media. So we could call this space just Cindio Media because for project management for our business, because we only have five users, we just want one space to manage all our projects and tasks. So that's completely up to you. We're going to name this space marketing and then come down here and select private or public. We recommend going private and then you can invite your team members to this space. Then you can come down here and change your icon if you like. I like this rocket icon. I'm going to leave it as that. Then over here, you can invite people via email. Now we haven't actually invited members to our Reich account just yet. So we're going to show you how to do that as soon as we create this space. So come down here and click create. And then what we want to do is head back to home. And as you can see, we now have our space over here that we just created. What we can do is add users. Just come down here to add users. And then to add your team members, all you need to do is add their emails in here. So we're going to go ahead and add two team members. And then come down here and make sure you have regular users selected. Then click invite to users. So as you can see, I've just invited two of my team members. So I'm going to come down and click OK. Now what I can do is navigate back to my new space that I just created. And then under our new space, our new group that we just created called marketing, what we can do is invite those two members, team members, to this specific group. Remember this is a private group, so there's only one member and that's myself. So if you want to invite people to your private group, your private space, all you need to do is click on member tab, then come over here and click invite or edit members. And then just come up here and select this space and that's going to automatically generate my team members that I've already invited to Reich. Now what I want to do is actually invite them to this private group. So I can select this team member and I can go ahead and select this team member also. So I have three individuals, myself and two of my team members that are now part of this space. So I'm going to come down and click save. And as you can see, I now have three members of my marketing space. I can also navigate over here and see that I have one admin, which is myself, and I have two team members. I can also add a description about this space if I like, and I can come down here and invite or edit my team member information. So I'm happy with that, so I'm going to click exit up here to show my entire marketing space dashboard. And then what I want to do is add a folder. So that's the second thing we want to do. Come over here and click add. And then come down here and select folder. Now for folder, we can actually select a specific view we want to view our work in. Now I like list, so I'm going to select list. You can change this at any time. Then what we want to do is name our folder. So this is going to be called website projects. And under this folder, we're going to create projects that are all based around our website clients. So I'm happy with that. Then come down and click create. And now that we've created a website projects folder, what we want to do is create our first project that goes in this folder. So I'm going to come up here and click the plus again. As you can see, we have our project selected. We're going to name this project Bright Smile Dentist. Now, this is not a real client of ours. This is just an example for the purpose of this tutorial. We're going to say that we're creating a website for this dentist client. And that's why this project is going to go under website projects, the folder website projects. So I'm happy with that project name. Then what you want to do is come over here and add people if you like. So I'm going to click add and then add this user here. Then you can click a start date if you like. So I'm going to go ahead and click the 1st of November and then finish could be a month from then. So the 30th of November. Then again, you can choose your default view. I'm going to go board this time because I like a more visual layout for my projects and then come down here and click create. 
And as you can see, we now have one project and one folder. So what I'm going to do is actually drag this project and put that into this website projects folder. And now I can click this down arrow on this folder and you can see our new project that we just created. I can also click this pin, which is going to pin it to our home page. So if I head back to home, you can see that we now have this project under our pinned section. So I'm going to head back to marketing and navigate over here to our folder and click this down arrow and then click on our project under our folder. So our new project, Bright Smile Dentist. And then as you can see down here, we have our visual board layout. Now under each of these sections here, so this is our project workflow, we have tasks that we can create. So if I wanted to create a new task, I could come up here and click task or I can navigate down here under each of these sections, these cards, and I could select new task. Now I could name this task. For example, I could name this logo design. So this could be a specific task within our project. Now I can go ahead and add multiple tasks if I like within each of these different sections of my workflow. Then what I can do is click on this particular task to customize it the way that I like. Remember, I talked about this in the beginning of this tutorial. It's very straightforward to create and customize the task the way that you like. So you can assign the task to the individuals that are part of your project. You can add a set date, subtask, attach files, add dependency, and turn this into private if you like. Then we have the comment section down here. So you can add information here about the specific task. We're not gonna go into too much detail. It's very straightforward. Then when you're happy with the information here, just click exit. Now with each task, for example, you can drag that into each of these different sections. So if it's a logo design like we have here and we've completed that design, then we can move that over to completed. If it's still in progress, we would leave it in progress. Then we can also click on these three dots and we can change the importance to high, for example, or we can go importance and go low. So that's completely up to you. Then you can filter the way that you see each of your tasks. And then the last thing I wanna share with you is the different default views. So for example, we have list over here. If I click list, you can see your project in a list based view. If we head back to board, we can see it in a board visual view. And we can also navigate over to this plus sign and we can add a Gantt chart if we like, files, stream. So if we click Gantt chart, we can view our project in a Gantt layout. So it's very easy to navigate through the different views, different layouts, especially if you're working with a team and everyone has a different preference on the way that they view their projects. So as you can see, it's very straightforward to create spaces, folders, projects, and tasks for each of those projects. And this is why Rike is such a powerful project management and team productivity software for small teams small businesses. Remember, this tool is completely free for up to five users. However, you will have limitations. Now, remember, we're on the paid plan at the moment. We're using a trial. However, after the 14 days, you will just roll back into the free plan. So remember, you have up to five users within the free plan. So that is it for getting started with Rike Project Management for Beginners. And there we have it guys, that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you now have a good grasp of how to get started with Rike Project Management. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care team.